right, so this is the last video for the printmaking unit, and in this video, I'm going to show you uh, printing two layers with two different colors, and I'm also going to cover uh, printing on a card. And I'm going to print this layer a number of times. I have to make many multiples of this first layer because when I go to do the second layer, um, I'm going to be altering the block, uh, removing more material, so I can't go back and uh, redo the first layer. So the first layer, you have to do uh, a, a run, your whole run of cards with this first layer before you can start the second layer. So now I'm going to make the print onto the card. And um, an easy way that you can uh, get the print to line up properly is to um, have your card with the cover up, or the front of the card up. Um, have your card facing up. Lay the block down on top. Flip it over, open up the card, and then apply pressure from the inside. Okay, pull your print, and then there's your first layer. And it looks like the top got a little bit underprinted, so when I go to the, do the rest of my print run, I'm going to make sure I put more ink on that top part. Once you've printed your first layer, which should be dry before you do anything else, and here's the first layer, so this is going to be the background color. I'm going to change the color of the flowers now, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to carve away the background leaving only the flowers. So now, after you've washed off your block and dried it, you're going to start to carve away all the background material. This is why you have to make all the prints of the first layer you want to do before you do this step, because after you do this, the block is now, uh, you cannot go back and redo that first layer. So you are essentially destroying the block in the process. I've carved away the top of the background and then the next part I'm going to do is carve away the bottom. Once I carve away the bottom material, then I'll get ready to print the flowers in red. Printing my second layer on top of my run of prints with the first layer printed on them. And um, as you may be able to see the block is now only features the flowers in the foreground Im imagery the background has all been carved away so this run of three prints is all I'm going to be able to make from this block because I've carved away all of the background imagery so start with this one up your block and try to get 
try to line up the part of the image where it's easiest to uh, to line it up. So I'm using the stems of the flowers. So I'm gonna press it down like that, flip it over, and then apply pressure and hope I did a good job lining up the flowers. We'll see how I did once I apply pressure. All right, pretty good. A little bit under inked on the bottom, but I actually don't mind that because uh, the stems of the flowers wouldn't be red anyway. So I actually think I might incorporate that into my next print. Uh, the only part that really didn't come out well is the side of the flower here. The This side of the tulip didn't print so well. This time, I'm going to, I'm really just going to ink the top. And I'm going to leave the bottom of those flower stems alone. And I have to keep in mind that I'm going to put a little extra ink on the side of the tulip that didn't print. Last time, right. you don't have to. You don't have to fold the card to close it. I just find it easier when I go to flip it over to have it folded. So this seemed to work pretty well last time. So I'm gonna try this again. Line up the stems of the flower and place it down. Flip it over. Open it up. Remember that this. Flower on this side needs a little bit more pressure. Yeah, there we go. Well, this mm, not too bad. My placement on the uh, first one is a little bit better, but this one the color's better, and uh, I got that I got that flower printed more evenly. So this is a really nice one. This one here. All right, they're not all going to be perfect. Not usually, which is why you want to make several multiples of your first layer so that if you do end up printing a few that don't come out great, you've still got some, some very usable finished, finished products. All right, last one. There we go. So I got two really good ones and and one okay one. So so it's a good thing I had three cards to work with. If I had only made one of the first layer, then I might have only ended up with this one. But instead, I got uh, these two really good ones, which were the second and third print. 